Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners to Advanced. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the next sweep types in Katia V5 generative shape design. So let's see uh, the line profile type with two tangency surface in this lecture. So uh, let us start with the shape design, then the generative shape design. Let's click OK here. And now let's uh, see what are the inputs required for this type just click on the two tangency surfaces and here is here here you will see uh, the spine then first tangency surface and then the second tangency surface we need to select so here you can see the s1 is nothing but a first tangency surface the s2 is nothing but a second tangency surface and uh, this is a spine which is nothing but a uh, c here and then here you can see uh, there are two uh, options uh, relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 as um, in case of uh, all other uh, commands we have seen the next is the trim with tangency first tangency surface and then trim with second tangency surface we have these two options as well so let's see uh, this with the help of practical demonstration so we'll create these two tangency surfaces first so uh, let's create a sketch on the front plane and then I will use this arc here and then first point and then second point then provide the dimensions to it let's provide the dimension as 100 mm and then exit the workbench so again uh, we need to have this uh, two tangency surfaces so the two sketches must be different let's create one more and again we'll create the same on the front plane here Just zoom out and we'll create one more arc select this center and then the first point and then the second point so again dimension it just provide the dimension let's say 100 mm and then you can just provide the dimensions as well from uh, this to make it fully constrained let's try uh, 350 and then exit the workbench so here now uh, we have these uh, two sketches with us now we can extrude this to make those uh, two surfaces so let's use the extrude command so select this profile and then make on the reverse direction let's add uh, maybe 200 and then click on ok Similarly, uh, again, you will use the extrude command for the second sketch. Select this profile, the reverse direction, keep the dimension as 200 and then click on OK. So now we, can, we have this uh, two tangent surfaces. Now we can use that uh, command. So before that, uh, maybe let's try this. So we, we, we can create a spine as well. So let's create one plane, offset from the top plane and make it to 100 and now we'll create a spine over here just select the plane adjust it, this axis here and then we'll create a line here let's create a simple line as a spline here just provide the dimension here let's say 200 and then exit the workbench and now click on the sweep surface this definition dialog box is comes up and now we can select this last option with two tangency surfaces select the spine so select this as a spine then the first tangency surface select this one and then select this one click on preview and then click on ok so you can see this surface is created with the help of sweep so now we'll see uh, some more options here let's double click on it And then you, you, you have this relimiter options again relimiter you can uh, use the relimiter so let's right click on it then create a plane and then you can select this sketch which is nothing but a spine for us and then you can simply create normal to curve and then curve has been selected and it is created at the middle so it's clear ok and then you can just preview it click ok you can see 
now the sweep has been created between the relimiters only so if you want to change the direction of it you can just simply click on the green arrow here and then click to preview you can see this is created on this side if you click ok the surface is created on the this side so in this way you can use this uh, relimiter option as well so if you want to clear it you can just right click on the field and you can just clear it out here and then click ok so again i will double click here so now we can see the trim uh, options are disabled okay so let's uh, delete this let's try deleting it and again we'll see uh, the sweep option here just select the spine now you can see here right uh, so the trim with the first tangent surface and the second tangent surface is uh, enabled so just select the first surface the second surface just preview after it and then uh, we'll try to uh, trim with the first tangency surface just try this and click on preview or maybe you can click on ok so you can see there is some warning uh, coming but uh, you can see the the first tangency surface is gets trimmed again double click on it but now again uh, after double clicking you can see the second option is again disabled so maybe we'll try uh, we'll just delete this and then we'll we'll select them in one go okay so just select the spline here the first tangency surface and then the second tangency surface and here we will trim them uh, so both the tangency surface will get uh, trimmed just preview after it and then click on ok so there is some warning coming but uh, yeah uh, if you ignore this uh, we can we can do this so in this way you can use this option in uh, in uh, uh, sweep so now i think we have covered all these uh, uh, line profile type uh, subtypes uh, completely so in our upcoming tutorial uh, we are going to discuss about this uh, circle circle types so with three guides then uh, two guides and radius center and two angles center and radius two guides and tangency surface then one guide and tangency surface and limit curve and tangent surface so one two three four five six seven uh, of the circle uh, profile type and in the last one we'll see uh, for the conic uh, profile type so there we have uh, around four uh, subtypes the two guide curves three guide curves four guide curves and the five guide curves so yeah that's it uh, that's it from this video so Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed watching it. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel for such more videos. Thank you so much.